guys so I have an update and this is for my fiddle leaf fig tree or the ficus lirata um and I did tell that tell you guys that I was going to update this as much as I could you know with um growth and as you can see here there's new growth right here um I think the last time I did my video it was just like um it was just all brown like this and it was only this tall like this tall I think and now it's got a leaf that's starting to grow right there. And this is really hard right here. Um, I don't really know what this is going to be. Um, I'm hoping it's it, it kind of feels like it's a leaf. But if it's going to like just make this grow taller to be a taller tree, I would really prefer that. Because I would want... Um, I have... A really high ceiling. I have cathedral ceilings for this room and um, the top of the windows are almost to the top of the ceiling so I want to cover all of that and so um, I did talk about that the last time so what I've noticed is it used to be here and now it has grown about two inches um, yeah about two two and a half inches since then and I wanted to show you guys another one right here. This has grown too. Because the last time I think when I showed you guys this, this was like nothing. And I remember I'm like, I don't really know what's going to happen here. I'm hoping it's, it will. Um, that it will sprout something. And it has. So I'm really happy about that one too, of course. Um, let's see. What's the other one? right here I don't know this one I don't really see a lot going on but I see a little something coming out like right here it's really really tiny and let me just change the angle to see if you guys can see that yeah that's really really tiny so I don't really know what's gonna happen then this one right here, this is another one. So this one has already started to grow. I remember on my last video, the this one right here, I don't think had anything yet, but now it has. So really, truly, patience is key to get that done. Um, let me see, I forgot there was something I wanted to show you guys, um, aside from the what the results of pinching but anyway this one has two right here and as you can see it's you know a giant it's going to be a giant leaf one day um so this have two that's two leaves right here and this one right here is hard this one i'm kind of hoping this one is going to be a stem but if it's going to be another leaf i don't really mind that but if you look here um, these are going to spread like that. So it'll be like two leaves. So that was beautiful. And I can't wait till it comes out. I'm trying to find this baby leaf that sprouted because I cut one. Um, I cut the stem like uh, not cut all the way, but I cut the stem a little bit. And I noticed there is a baby leaf that grew out of it that I didn't even notice it right away um, until like very very recently oh this is another one right here this one is like the shortest I think um, yeah the shortest part that kind of um, sprouted from the root ball if you could see there right there let's see if you can brighten it up a little bit there you go so this is in that, like, this skinny, really, this one. And I, I did also um, pinch it, and now it has another leaf. Or it has a leaf coming out since my possession. Um, this was already like this when I got this. So all of the, like, burnt stuff and the holes and all that, that was already there when I got this. Oh, here it is. Here's the baby. You see this? tiny little baby you know it's a little grainy it's on my way to bed and I'm like 
Oh, I completely forgot that I wanted to do this to update you guys. Um, cause I didn't want it to grow any much more like the new growth I had. Um, I just wanted to update this as quick as I could so that you guys can see that, you know, patience really does prevail when it comes to fiddly figs. Um, and this was my first plant to get. And again, um, if I do have a playlist of my plant vlogs, so if you want to go through there and check my, my previous videos, the previous parts for this particular plant, it, um, go ahead and do that and what I did. And also, this is a few plants in here in one because sometimes you get lucky like that. Like sometimes you can buy them in a bundle just depending on where you are. Um, now, actually, um, uh, a local nursery of mine, they sell like only one in this height, the tallest one that I have. And, um, it's only one tree in there and not like this, which is like a bundle. I really, and you know, I'm new to the fiddle leaf fig plant. I didn't really get all of them, but I did get a second one before they were all snatched away and they weren't reordering them. And that's what happened to my other, um, my other two that I also made a plant vlog on. Um, th that was from one planter which came in multiple plants and I separated them and this one um I really am thinking of separating this in the spring because as you can see here it is getting really tight and I think it's because I fertilize and I do provide um, vitamin or supplements with it and again everything will be down below in the description section and what I'm using I really do believe that is a big part of why it's growing um, really healthy and kind of quick. Because what I remember was there was someone who did something similar to what I did. And he was saying that even five months later, like nothing happened. So, um, and he said when he had to wait until um, summer or spring. And I did this in the fall, um, and it's still doing really well, and it's still fall, you know, technically, because um, we haven't reached, like, a certain day in 2020, so um, that's still technically fall, even though if there's snow on the ground, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> um, so, um that's what he was saying. He did it in like fall or winter time and it didn't really grow. I think if it did, it wasn't that much. And he said that was his mistake. So I was kind of worried when I did that because I did this before I, I watched that video and then I already did it. So I'm like, oh my gosh, well, if it's not going to grow, it's not going to grow. Right. And I'm just going to wait till like March or April to try to pinch. And so I'm kind of thinking, well, it's an experiment. And I really believe that the fertilizer and the supplement that I'm using together has really encouraged this plant to thrive. Um, just so you know, this is uh, in a, um, right in front of a window. And I do live in Zone 5. Um, I live in Northwest Indiana, which is like really close to Chicago. And... Um, because of the fall and the winter and spring seasons well this doesn't this hasn't really hit spring so far but in in my possession anyway but in that kind of weather um like today it's been really gloomy i didn't really provide this with artificial light i didn't provide this with anything aside from sunshine or any kind of sunshine but today was incredibly very very gray and dreary and um it's just gonna be like that really like uh three quarters of the year but so far um this has been thriving so that's what I always say which I'm thinking of making a different video out of it later on you know like when you get a plant you really especially with something like a fiddle leaf tree um you really need to know where you want to put it and let it acclimate 
because if you keep moving it every day, sometimes it's just not going to work. And with the, with the fiddly figs, because of everything that I've read and watched and paid attention to, what I noticed is that moving them around can stress them, even if it's in the same house. Um, like switching them around and repotting them and transplanting them multiple times, that stresses them out. So they, they're they like kind of like if you think about it like a homebody kind of person, you know. They like this small size pot because they're more of a, uh, what is that? A they they prefer a confined planter, which I made a mistake on repotting it in a big planter. But um, the way I'm watering it is I touch the top of the root ball, which I did uncover after watching a video, and this is moist still because I watered this like a couple of days ago. When this is dry, then I water it and I make sure the root ball is completely saturated. I don't water the way a lot of people have watered. I don't water the way a lot of like experts in this field do, but this is just the way I do it. And I can't really submerge them in my tub or like run shower water in it because I have well water and in turn and we have soft water so if i do that i kill all my plants if you don't know anything about well water and soft water soft water is pretty much a lot of sodium in it so excuse me that will kill your plants so um i really didn't want to you know excuse me do that like it would be very hard because we only have one spout for the drinking water and there's a limit to it and it takes two hours to regenerate so I wasn't really going to do that and let it sit there for half an hour of just running water over and over. And then my husband told me, like, when he was a lot younger, um, you know, um, still getting by, I think, like, during college or before or something like that, he was saying that he used to work um, for plumbers or in a plumbing um, community or a plumbing company. He wasn't a plumber. He wasn't a licensed plumber. But... um he had that kind of job and he would always say, oh my gosh, my buddy and his and our boss would make so much money from people watering their plants in their tub because that would make the pipes burst. So I tried to do my other fiddly figs in the tub. I did water them with like drinking water. It wasn't, it wasn't the uh, soft water. But when he saw that, he was like terrified. He's like, what are you doing? You know, that's really bad for the pipes. So I explained to him what a lot of people advised. He said, I really don't encourage that. If you want to do it outside and do that with a hose, go ahead and do that. But that's going to bust our pipes. So one try, it was cool, but I'm not going to do it again. I'm just going to water it where they are, which this one, I never really water this under, I mean, in a tub in which there's just a lot of water going through that I did use a premix with drinking water, the fertilizer and the supplement in it. Um, so it wasn't soft water, but it was like a lot going through because that's what a lot of people were saying you're supposed to do. So, um, yeah, and this is doing well, though, like all my fiddly figs are doing great, except for one. But when we did transplant it out of uh, from like four decent size and then two little babies um it was really kind of sickly looking and now i only have like one leaf left on it but it's still green and it looks healthy um but when when i did get it the other leaves that were on it were really like the nastiest ones in the entire um plant plant that was sold that was a bunch of plants in there so anyway um just giving you some insight on what i really do with my fiddly fig how I take care of it, all that good stuff. Um, I get questions about how I get my leaves cleaned, and they're always clean. There's no dirt or dust in there. Number one, you want to make sure your house is always dust-free. Sometimes we don't have that ability, and sometimes it's too too late, right? So what I do is that I use the regular um, recipe of Super Thrive, which that is down below, um, on where to get it cheapest if you get it at Lowe's and Home Depot it, it feels like they charge you an arm and a leg for a tiny bottle 
I got the biggest bottle and I gotta say I've used like a lot of gallons with it and it doesn't even feel like I've used 10%, maybe only five or less. So anyway, what I do is it's a quarter teaspoon of Super Thrive and mix it with a gallon of water, drinking water, do not use soft water. And um, I I dampen um, a microfiber cloth, um, not like dripping wet, not stopping wet, but enough that when you do wipe it down, it's similar to like when you're wiping a counter down, it's a little damp, but it's not saturated. And so I go through the leaf and I did that with this. I did that with the corn plant. Um, I did it with my uh, snake plant. And I feel like um, because it's a supplement, it does get absorbed well in the leaves too. So I really like that. And um, you have to just be aware because there's a lot of leaf shiners out there and they use a lot of oil or mineral oil to make it like that crazy shine to it but that can you know it can be bad for your plants because it's oil and in the in the natural setting of plants nobody's really rubbing oil on them so unless it's like an animal trying to do that and it's supposed to propagate a different plant or attach a seedling or a, or a bunch of seeds or pollen or whatever to do that. And that's just, you know, that's just how Mother Nature works. But you have to think, nobody has a tub of mineral oil and wiping on the leaves there. So um, just be aware of that because I had a bad experience with the miracle Grow leaves, Leaf Shine, which I should have or probably will have, um, I don't, I don't remember now, um, a review on that, which killed, um, which killed some of my plants, so just be kind of aware of that, I didn't know that until the aftermath, and then I researched it, and it's, I follow the directions, um, so just be aware, uh, if you guys have any questions, comments, advice, anything, I am new to the Phil Leaf Fig family, so anything else you guys might want to chit chat about, about this plant or advice for me or from me, um, comments, you, I can talk about this plant all day. Anything else that I, you know, I can improve, like I want this to be taller and bushier very quick. I want all my leaf fig plants to be like that. If you get any tips, all that good stuff, let me know down below. I love hearing from you guys all the time. Um, all my social media accounts are down below as well. So I love to connect with you guys. Please do that. Um, and where you can get everything that I'm using for this plant to make it thrive. I think I really do believe it's that, um, it will be down in the description section. So do check that out so that if you want your frill leaf fig tree to be healthy and provided with extra food, um, which would be the fertilizer and then of course a supplement which would be translated as a vitamin so it will encourage um, healthier root growth because that's what the supplement that I'm using with this which is which was also I was trying to experiment with it you know it's like why not you know because you can use it together with a fertilizer um, so there you have it this is my first ever fig leaf fig, but this is a few of them in one container. And as you can see, they have all started to sprout due to me pinching them. I know there were people that were confused in like my Facebook groups. They, they didn't know what pinching was, which that was me too. I really didn't know what the pinching was before I did it. But I want mine to be taller and bushier and all that good stuff. So that's what I read it. And, um, I think that's about it. Uh, this one, if I didn't show this one yet, I don't think I did. So this one, sorry guys. This one right here has a little bit of growth here on the left side. I don't know if you can see that right there. That's new growth right here. So I'm hoping that could be either a stem or a leaf. It looks like a leaf more. But either way, I will still embrace it because I love it. I love this so much. Before I got this plant, I was always fascinated on how people are obsessed with it, and now I know why. It's just so beautiful and leafy and, to me, very low maintenance. But to some people, they believe that this is such a high-maintenance plant, but everybody's different, and a lot of people are saying that 
Um, there are even charts out there that are saying that certain plants are indestructible and that you can never kill them. And I strongly disagree because I think I've killed those plants before, you know. So anyway... Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed my video. You're going to give me a thumbs up with this continuous um, plant vlog for this particular plant. And of course, if you haven't yet hit the subscribe button and the bell so you're notified every single time I do upload a new video, I will always continue to do this particular plant. And if I do, when, when I do, if and when I do decide to separate this, um, I will probably rename it to different kinds, but I will let you guys know on that final time before I do separate it the next. I'm not even sure if I'm going to record when I do that. I just don't know. Um, so here you guys, here you guys are the update on this particular plant. Thank you guys for stopping by. I'll see you guys in the next update of this plant. Bye.